God is holy beyond our measure. He created male and female and breathed in us the breath of life. He made us for his glory and to fellowship with us. But ever since Adam and Eve disobeyed God, sins began to spread everywhere. Lying, thieving, lusting, having idols, prideful, and revilers. And we seem to take pleasure in it. God abhors it and is angry with sin. A wall of sin has separated us from him. God will punish all sins, for he is a God of justice, and every sin is an abomination. No sin will enter heaven. The internal wages of sin, or consequences, is death. Not only natural death, but dying forever in hell. A punishment that is forever in brimstone and fire. No one is good when we compare ourselves to the moral law. No one can measure up to God's perfect standards. Animal sacrifices were not enough to atone for sins. But God made a way to escape the torturing punishment. Jesus Christ. Jesus, the Son of God, was born of a virgin. He lived a sinless, righteous life, a life that we could never live up to. Jesus then took our place on the cross, beaten and mocked, absorbing the wrath of God. He died a death that you and I deserved, but he did it intentionally to pay the price of sins for you. Then he rose three days later from the grave to defeat death, so that sin doesn't hold you. He did these things so that you could be granted the gift of salvation, to be able to go to heaven through the righteousness, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, and to escape sin and hell. Thank mm-hmm. you.